There's a lot of negotiation tactics and here's a few things that I use when I am selling homes. First of all, I always try to get on the phone with the other agent. Establishing rapport quickly is super important. You can also tell a lot by an agent's tone. They'll tell you a little bit more about the buyer. Have the buyers been looking forever or was this the first house that they saw? That's also gonna give you an indication of how motivated the buyer is or how educated they are on the market and how likely they are to close. Something else I like to always make sure and do is I break out all the terms when we receive an offer and then I put in my recommendations for counters. It's super important for a seller to know what is the norm. Sometimes when the market's hot, higher earnest money, higher option fee, and a lower option days is more common. And now that the market's kind of softened a little bit, it is more common that we see the seller paying the title policy or a one week option period versus a three day option period. So I typically will go over what's kind of standard or what I think is more beneficial for my seller. Understanding what's important to the seller and to the buyer is super important as well. Sometimes a buyer wants a little bit longer of a closing date because they don't want to have to make double rent and mortgage. For example, if a buyer wants to close in August and they could really close in July, sometimes they're in a lease. Now when a buyer closes in August, their first payment isn't going to be due until October 1st. Now some of my sellers are like, we really don't want to make another payment. So if we could push back the closing date to make both parties happy, it's still in August, but maybe it's August 1st or 2nd, that is going to be a win-win for both parties. I always like to have a win-win attitude, but of course I like winning a little bit more because I am pretty competitive when it comes to real estate and everything else in life. Something else that's really important to take into consideration is how fast you wanna to respond to an offer. Offers in Texas do not have a deadline associated with them. So if a buyer submits an offer, let's say Thursday at five o'clock, there is no timeline and how fast we have to respond. Now, sometimes an agent will ask for a response by a certain time, but it doesn't mean we have to honor that. So when it comes to that scenario, that's when I go over my sellers with all the terms and how likely are we to move forward with this offer versus is there anyone else looking at the property? Are there any other potential offers in the wings? And if there are, we may wanna take our time in responding. Now, I don't like making buyers wait too long, depending on the market. The right buyer will wait for the home, but typically you wanna respond within at least 24 to 48 hours to any sort of offer. If you can't respond with exact counter terms, you at least wanna keep the agent updated on where you're at, why your client's not responding, maybe they're traveling, maybe they're thinking on it, but you wanna make sure you're still keeping in communication. Let's talk about multiple offers. When I have a property and I list it, and I typically like listing homes on Wednesdays and Thursdays as it gives it enough time to syndicate to the MLS, and sometimes holding an open house the first weekend, but a lot of times I like to hold open houses the second weekend. Anyway, when we have a home and let's say we get an offer right out the gate, if it is before the weekend, I will typically take offers and showings through the weekend. You don't wanna jump on an offer too fast. Now, it's always up to my sellers, and let's say we got an offer for 50,000 over asking and we weren't prepared for that and we feel like that is the best we're going to get, the seller has the right to accept that offer from the get-go. I typically like to wait because I wanna give as many people an opportunity to see the property as possible and compete. It's my job as an agent to get my client the most money I can for their property and the best offer most likely to close. So with that, I'm typically getting feedback over the weekend, seeing how interested parties are, and it's also my job to make sure I'm communicating with all these agents if they're in the ballpark. I don't want any agent to waste their time and I wanna be realistic and typically I will give them enough details to make a strong offer for the property. I also will update the MLS with the deadline. That way it gets syndicated. Basically what this means is that when an agent logs on to the MLS for a property for their client, they see multiple deadlines received, final and best due Tuesday at noon. I will also make sure this goes in the consumer remarks. So if you are a home buyer and you are searching on Zillow or Realtor.com or Redfin, you now see all the property description as well as multiple offers final and best due Tuesday at noon. So you can decide as a buyer, do you wanna take a chance and make an offer on this property before the deadline? There's a lot of things that go into negotiating an offer and at the end of the day, it's always going to depend on the property and the situation. But if you have any other questions, I'm always happy to chat and I would love to sell your house.